I have one uh, show on his uh, Renai tankless uh, water heaters, also the jacuzzi brand, how to clean the uh, strainer, which is right here on the bottom. And if you ever have the hot water acting up, uh, this is 99% of the time, this is what it is, the strainer is getting clogged and it's something you can actually clean out yourself. Make sure to turn the thermostat to off. You don't want to be running the heat uh, when you're shutting off the hot water. So what you want to do is you want to shut off the water on both of the valves, which is on the bottom of the water heater. Turn the valve when they're 90 degrees they block the water flow. So we got both the outlet and the inlet. The valves are off. Then you want to bleed the pressure. Take off your cap. And then you can open the valve. And you see there's no pressure in it. Again, when the valve is perpendicular, it's closed off when it's in the direction of the pipe it's open so now we made sure there's no pressure and then just use a wrench and you can unscrew the strainer there it's a pair of pliers put a little light on that It's important that you check that you had your valves off and by the way if you had an emergency where say you had the valve on and your strainer started uh, blowing you know water out because you didn't turn off the water and you didn't check that the water was off all these condos have a main shut off actually on the installations you just shut off your cold coming in which is the same thing this is just for if you had an emergency, you wanted to shut it off. Or your main water shut off is right on the other side. And again, whatever the handle is blocking, when the handle is 90 degrees, that's when it's shut off. So anyway, back to the strainer here. So I, since I've loosened it with the wrench, now I can just turn it by hand and take out the strainer. And then you can inspect inside. And now this one's picked up quite a bit of stuff. The strainer is what keeps the water heater clean, but if it clogs up, it makes the water uh, get kind of squirrely. So now we just go to the sink and clean the strainer out. So they clean the strainer. Now I'm using cold water because I got the hot water off. It basically just runs some water through it. Still got a little bit of trash. You probably use your pinky. You don't have to get it perfectly clean. And it's just gonna probably get more trash from the main water anyway. Then you go put it back in. So to put it back in, it goes right back. And remember it's righty tighty. And turn it by hand first. And then use the wrench to finish it. It's only plastic, so you're not going crazy tight. And 
by just squeezing the O-ring. And then once it bottoms out, there we go. So now there's a little bit of air in the system. And so when I turn on the hot water, I want to run it uh, through a sink or a bathtub to get the air out. That way I don't send it to the heater. So we'll put our cap back right here. Notice I had this valve closed. All I did this, this for is just to check that I didn't have any pressure so I didn't have any surprises when I opened that strainer. So now we can turn on our water. It doesn't really matter to order hot and the cold. So now I want to purge the air out. So I'm basically just going to go run some hot water. I prefer to use the bathtub to get the air out. It does a better uh, water flow than the sink. And you basically just run that for a minute. That way I send the air to the bathtub rather than to the heater. And then one more thing, it's pretty important is just make sure you don't have any water leaks. And, uh, and so everything, you know, it's wet now because I just cleaned the strainer, but it, you could come back and check or dry everything off. Just make sure nothing's dripping anywhere. And so that's how you change the strainer. I have another video if you want to see diagnostic on the actual water flow for the heat. And uh, just uh, you search that as in the Coverly on YouTube. Thanks for watching.